Welcome back to the Fantasy Football Happy Hour. And that was Pat Corain, the $2 million man, the winner of the Underdog Fantasy Best Ball Tournament. Mega Best Tournament. Ball, Best Ball Mania 3, I believe he is the champion. He is now worth $2 million. Multi-millionaire Pat Corain, <laughs> Roto World's own in the, for probably, what, 24 more hours a week, maybe, <laughs> tops. <laughs> Um, hey, no, uh, I'm not flipping the bird, you know? I'm not flipping the bird, so... We're, yeah. Why not? You're rich, you're above the law, you should. Why does Pat Corain <laughs> drink free? If anyone can afford to pay he for buys a drink, it's Pat Corain. <laughs> well, because, I'll tell you why Pat Corain <laughs> drinks free. Pat Corain now owns this bar. Oh, it's true. We are drinking that's at true. Pat Corain's. It's true. Right. Pat Corain's. Which, by the way, is the good name man. of a good... That sounds like the name of a Pat good Irish bar. Yes. Irish Pat pub. Crane's, uh, yeah, yes. exactly. Irish pub. Pat Corain's Irish pub. You should absolutely open up a chain of them. Pat, in all seriousness, obviously, first off, congratulations, a massive win. But what has this last week been like for you? Uh, we opened with the funny intro, you know, you saying that, hey, I'm going to invest it. Uh, everybody else on the set seemed to have different ideas for you. But what has this last <laughs> week been like? Well, I mean, it's been it's been crazy uh, because the way this all came to be is that I was heading into Monday night uh, in first place in this tournament. And um you know, because of the DeMar Hamlin injury, the game being stopped, uh, it was like the worst possible circumstances to be, you know, still in first. And then it's been, you know, the, the whole thing of the uncertainty around whether or not the game was going to be played, the more important uncertainty around how DeMar was doing um, was made last week really intense. And um, to get the good news that we got last Thursday and then kind of continuing since then has just been so massive um and honestly i mean it's been it's been one of those things where you know i was like kind of planning for what happens if i win with the thinking of like i might not win but i need to kind of get things some things sort of in order in case i win so it was almost like i was a sort of risk planning uh for the chance of of winning the money um but ultimately you know things really do feel very positive now um and so uh have been able to to enjoy it a bit well, which is, which is awesome. So uh, a couple of things here. So first off, like just a, uh, like clearly you haven't upgraded your wardrobe. So I think that's a nice choice. I like the fact that you've just decided, you stay know, humble. what, stay humble. Um, like I just I may be a multimillionaire, but I'm still going to I'm still going to dress like a blogger, um, which is great. Um, but I am still a blogger, Matthew. Yeah, well, I mean, listen, look at me. I, I dress like an old man. Um, you know, I stay in my lane. Uh, my question for you, Pat, Talk is in all those. seriousness, in all seriousness, um, you know, like the question is, well, what are you gonna do with the money? Like, you're gonna, you know, you're buying a, you know, uh, you know, whatever, uh, something crazy. But also, like, do you anticipate changing your career at all? Because this is kind, of, this is like, this is legitimately life-changing money, and allows you to not work at all if you want, to work at a different pace, to do anything different. Have you thought at all about? Whether you can say to Roto World, hey, I only want to do this and this. I don't want to do this. Like, you can sort of create your own path now because – so what do you uh, – What do you, are you going to change your career at all? Well, so so I was in uh, project management uh, for an energy efficiency company for like 10 years, and my goal for a long time has been to be able to do fantasy football full time. So, like, in kind of the macro view, I'm like – I'm kind of where I want to be. Now uh, – this is my living room and you guys asked me you know previously about what i might do with the money like getting an office would be probably a, a good change of pace rather than working out of a, a one bedroom in brooklyn so there's some some uh tweaks for sure but uh, largely I'm, I'm where i want to be pat we know there were a lot of key players that were critical to you pulling this off and one kind of wanted to get involved and maybe give you a shout pat first i gotta say is Sheesh! Damn, man, two mil. Hey, bro, congratulations on your win, my friend. That is incredible. Um, and I just want to say thank you for also supporting your boy and picking me up, too. I'm glad we can get that dub together. Um, enjoy those winnings, my friend, and best of luck. And remember, you know, I'm always probably a pretty good pick for you in the future as well, man. Awesome. Good stuff, Pat. That was awesome. That was Austin Eckler, in case you're just listening. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Pat, any quick words to Eckler before we go to break? Yeah, huge, huge thanks to Austin Eckler. Uh, literally, like, at one point I was in second, and the only possible way that I could get into first was if Austin Eckler had a big play. He had a 72-yard touchdown. He also got me into the final. He scored two touchdowns in Week 16, the only reason I was there. 
Pat, thank you so much, man. Congrats once again. Uh, and with that, we will head to last call. Hey, it's Matthew Berry from NBC Sports and Rotoworld.com. Just want to thank you so much for watching what you just watched, or at least being too lazy to click out of it after the you know autoplay just kept it going. So either way, thank you so much for just letting it scroll by your screen. And now I'd like to ask you respectfully, 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 okay, respectfully, please subscribe to the NFL on NBC YouTube channel for the latest NFL news, fantasy headlines from Rotoworld, and betting analysis from NBC Sports Edge.